Many of you might have heard by now that Lizzo is being sued by former dancers. And these women said that Lizzo would have them doing very inappropriate things and they did not feel comfortable. They felt like if they didn't comply to her demands that they would be fired. And Lizzo did all kinds of things, including fat shaming them. And I don't know how Lizzo can fat shame anybody. This woman looked like she's tipping at 350. And, you know, so the allegations are out there. Lizzo is saying that she's hurt by this whole thing. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's not unusual for people to get abused in this sort of industry. You hear the stories all the time. So her former backup dancers are, you know, doing the circuit. They're going around the circuit and doing all these different interviews. And, and they are detailing how they were mistreated by Lizzo. So Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez are speaking out for the first time. And they said many things happened, including they had to participate in a nude cabaret show. And um, they said they felt like they had to listen to Lizzo's demands or be fired if they did not participate in activities. They were even made uncomfortable many times. So Crystal said she was accused of drinking before performances. Ariana claims that Lizzo would body shame her for gaining weight. She alleged that Lizzo also used an admission of an eating disorder to justify her firing. And the third plaintiff, Noel Rodriguez, spoke out and she did an interview with ABC News detailing how the singer became aggressive towards her after she resigned her position this past spring. I told her why. I felt unsafe. I felt disrespected. And I have never experienced such treatment in the seven years that I have been doing this. And then she proceeded to prove all those things right by balling her fist and saying, you're so lucky, you're so effing lucky, basically alluding to hitting me. She went on to recall as she was inching towards me, a fellow dancer mate, and her best friend comes and pulls her back from assaulting me. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video from CNN and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Did you realize that what you were experiencing, what you led you experienced was not normal? A lot of things that were going on, it took me a really long time to figure out that it was wrong. It took me actually until leaving the, the camp that I figured out that everything that w went on was bad because I just chalked it up to, you know, oh, Lizzo might be a diva or, you know, this is just the industry. This is what we, we go through. M me personally, looking at um, the response from Lizzo was so disheartening because she was there. She was there. And to fix your hand to write on a piece of paper that you don't, that you discredit everything we're saying is incredibly frustrating. Um, the facts are the facts, like Crystal said. Was I pressured to touch a new performer? Yes. Was I brought into a private meeting where I was kind of interrogated about my personal matters and ended up having to share very personal, personal things about myself regarding my weight? Yes. What, I mean, the list goes on. Were we pressured to do an excruciatingly long rehearsal that turned into a re-audition for the job that we already booked because apparently we weren't doing good enough? Yes, that is true. During that, during that um, excruciatingly long re-audition process, was I under the impression that if I left the stage, I would be fired? Yes. Did I? unfortunately go to the bathroom on myself on one stage because I was so terrified? Yes, there is, you in a court of law, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know anything, but I know that if you ask someone to tell the truth, these things will come out of her mouth. If right. you have to say yes or no to these questions, she has to say yes because they are true. 
Do you really think that she was going to resort or could yes. resort to physical violence? Yeah, I do. I do. And I mean, the facts of that were that she actually balled up her fist like this to me. She started cracking her knuckles and she was like, you're so effing lucky that basically I'm not going to hit you. And, you know, I was in shock watching her do that and cracking her knuckles and acting as if she was going to come at me. And for a second, I was like, you know, I don't think she's going to do that. Like, that's not what's going to happen. But the fact that one of her dancers, that was all of us were present, all the dancers were present for every, mostly all of these allegations. And in that meeting that we had where she got physical and was about to assault me, her best friend, who is also one of the dancers, had to jump out of the couch and physically hold her back from coming and hitting me. Now, after what had been a notably lengthy silence this morning, Lizzo responded to the lawsuit on Instagram, writing, in part, these sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that, uh, that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Okay, so you heard what they said on CNN. So, you know, if these allegations are true, this really looks bad for Lizzo, for real. So, uh, Noel Rodriguez, who you saw there, told the news outlet that during her career that she has worked with other big stars like Beyonce, um, Megan The Stallion, and Lady Gaga and never felt disrespected or treated badly. Meanwhile, Lizzo has broken her silence on all of these allegations and she just straight up denies it. So she said in a lengthy statement that this morning, these last few days have been gut-wrenching, difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethics, ethics uh, morals and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. So she's turning around and criticizing these women. So that is pretty much how she's responding. So she goes on to say, as an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans with passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. Well, the way these women sound, they sound like they've been victimized working for her. And, you know, believe me, they're not the only artists I have heard these kind of things from, you know, and they certainly won't be the last. I think if it is true, it is a shame. And she is, you know, uh, I'm talking about Lizzo. Yeah, this is going to reflect bad on her especially if this happens to go to trial and these women have evidence and you can see they lawyered up. They're doing this interview with a lawyer. So they're already lawyered up and got the lawsuit going. So we shall see how this goes. I will definitely follow this story, but y'all please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.